Why are there millions of Christians throughout the world? Why do people, even in this day, die for the faith, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, we're going to deal with that just briefly here. I'm Pastor Krause, Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee. What's the Christian faith all about? How come to this day there are millions, in fact, billions of people throughout the world who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Why is it that some of these believers in oftentimes poor and destitute countries are willing to give up their lives for the faith? Well, this passage that I'm going to read is taken from 1 Timothy 3.16, and it gives us, in one verse, some of the basics of that reason why people die for the faith. Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. Here we have the mystery, we are told, the mystery of godliness. Why is it that so many people have this piety in their hearts, a piety which would lead them to even die for the faith that they hold? Well, the basics for the Christian faith are given here. He, that is Jesus Christ, appeared in a body. God himself appeared in a body. The one that we speak about is Jesus Christ, who lived about 2,000 years ago. And this one, who now took on the form of a body in this world, God himself, was vindicated by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit put his approval on this one, Jesus Christ. We see that during his life, when he would cast out demons, when he would perform miracles, we see it at the time of his resurrection from the dead. The Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He was vindicated by the Spirit. God the Father approved of the life of his Son, Jesus Christ, the perfect life given for sinners. He was seen by angels. Now we, in Holy Scripture, read about angels. Angels were there at the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Angels were there at the time of his ascension. It appears that whenever we have these times of great advances in the kingdom of God, angels are present. They're testifying to the greatness of this one, Jesus Christ. And we see that he was believed uh, in all the world as his message was preached to the nations. The message of Jesus Christ continues to go out today. The message of the Bible is being translated into more and more languages. More and more people groups are coming to hear the good news of Jesus Christ, the message of the gospel. Not everyone believes, but the Holy Spirit working through the God uh, creates faith inside the hearts of so many people throughout the world. The message continues to go out. And of course, this one, Jesus Christ, was taken up in glory. He ascended into heaven after his time in this world, after his resurrection from the dead. As we think about the Christian faith and how it is spread throughout the world and how people are convicted by the Holy Spirit in their lives to trust in Jesus Christ, we can dwell today huh, on the basics of the faith. Now, a lot of things are changing around us in the world today. A lot of perspectives that people have had are are being tested. But I want to say something about the Christian faith. Huh? The facts of Jesus Christ, the facts of the gospel, have not changed for 2,000 years. And they're not going to, no matter how people attack it, no matter what they do. The story of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the story of Jesus Christ, will remain until the end of the world. People will see Jesus, hear of him, love him. God be praised. May you walk with the Lord today.